Hey guys, this is Mr. Grice for Algebra Unit 9 Review, video number two. I'm on the second page, so get your butts over there right now. All right, looking at the directions, let's say to graph the following functions and describe any reflection or shifts in comparison to its parent function. Number nine. Number nine says f of x equals the square root of x plus five minus two. So before we start talking about any of this, we need to know what type of function is this? Do you guys know? You should be saying that this is a square root, okay? So is there any reflection? When we're looking for a reflection, we need to know, is there a negative on the outside of that? And there isn't. So there is no reflection. Now our initial point is like our vertex. So we take the opposite and that stays the same. So the vertex for this, or the initial point, I'm sorry, would be negative five minus two. So what does that tell us we have to do? What's my horizontal shift gonna be? Well, that tells me that we need to go left five, and then the vertical shift tells us we that we have to go yeah, down two. So before we find the value, we actually have to graph this. So the initial point told us to go left five and down two. And then we have to follow the pattern. The pattern is up one, right one, up one, right three. And there we go. So find the value of f of negative four. Remember that this is talking about our x value. So when we have negative four, what's our answer? Yep, negative one. Cool. Let's move on to number 10. Now at any time you guys wanna try one of these on your own, just pause the video. Okay, number 10, f of x equals, ooh, what type of graph is this? Before I say it, yeah, this is an absolute value. Okay, so the absolute value of x plus two minus four. Is there any reflection? Why do you say that? Well, I said no because yeah, there's no negative sign on front. All right, next, what's the vertex? Okay, remember we take the opposite of the inside, so that's negative two, and the number on the outside stays the same. So negative two, negative four. That tells us that my horizontal shift is left two, and then my vertical shift is down four. Do you guys remember the pattern for absolute value? Let's find out. So I go left two, down four, and then we just go up one, right one, up one, right one, up one, right one. And then we do the same thing to the left. Up one, left one, up one, left one, up one, left one. And this is going to make a perfect V which means your points or the arms of this should be the same length, okay? So this time we have to find f of zero. So when x is zero, what does it equal? And it equals negative two. All right, number 11. What type of graph is this? This time we're gonna be graphing a quadratic. All right, first question, is there a reflection? What's that in front? Yeah, that's a negative. Okay, so that means there's reflection here. What's our vertex? Once again, we take the opposite, or not the op, yeah, the opposite of what's inside. I'm kind of losing it. It's four, 
and then the outside stays the same. So that horizontal shift tells me that I need to go right four, and the vertical shift is up seven. Okay, now that we know all that, we can go ahead and get started. I need to go right four and up seven. What quadrant is that in? Quadrant one, okay. So then we go down one, right one, down three, right one. And then we're gonna do the opposite on the other side. Okay, and then go ahead and draw the parabola. Remember, it's pointing down because there is that reflection. Did you remember that? Okay, and find the value of f of 5. Okay, f of 5, right there, and you should get 6. All right, last one. Ooh, looks like they gave us another square root. Okay, so reflection, yes or no? Yes. What's our initial point? Well, the initial point would be negative three, five. Our horizontal shift tells us to go left three, and then vertical shift is up five. So left three up five is gonna put us in which quadrant? Yeah, that's quadrant two. Okay, so remember there's a reflection here. So we're gonna go down one, right one. Whenever we're doing square root graphs, we always go to the right. And then my next point is down one, right three. Okay, let's go ahead and draw your graph, and then it's asking us to find f of negative 2. So I'm going to go to negative 2 and find my point, and that is 4. Okay guys, well that's it for page number 2. As always, if you have any questions, please come find Ms. Carranza or myself. We would love to help you out. That's why we get paid the big bucks. Otherwise, this is Mr. Grice signing off for Algebra Unit 9 review video number two. Thanks for watching.